and then click hey. it. This is washed with a spider. Tara, she is an OBT. Most people think you're not allowed to handle them. It really depends on how you treat them in the first place. If you treat them properly, I'm sorry I'm drunk, if you treat them properly they are awesome spiders. They can be handled and they can be loved on. Just like any other spider, yes they are slightly quick at some point in time, but they can be handled and they are awesome. She's never uh, never shown me a threat posture aside from the first day I got her and a couple times when opening her container too quickly but she is a very sweet spider and a, she will be shown inside of a music video slash promo for a upcoming release of a movie fairly soon actually tomorrow in about 12 hours if you see I can uh, stroke her abdomen and she does not care at all she is uh, possibly a fluke in the species however I have seen many many and I mean many flukes in the past uh, since I have collected tarantulas I think it is due to the either the proper handling of the spiders or the continuous handling of them she doesn't seem to be in any any um, stress and as you can see she hasn't eaten in a while and she is very thick because she is pregnant she at is which case going to have she lots of babies yeah at which case she should be very 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 defensive but, but she's not she is not because he handles her properly and that I advise many people to attempt to no, even don't advise slowly them to, uh, even don't. slowly just to pet them to start with but over even a month's period of time or even a couple weeks to attempt to play with their OBTs and maybe eventually they will be able to handle their OBTs like this watch bring it up bring it up I'll give her a kiss on her abdomen if she doesn't run away see kisses she's good kisses and she, she doesn't even care. get mad she'll stay still if I leave my hand here for a while give her a second there She'll she say so. I'll be able to pet her for like a minute straight, at least, and she won't move. See, Hold she on. does not. She does not mind it at all. In fact, she seems more intent on exploring than anything else. She's not very uh, aggressive. I've, like I said, I've seen a couple. Uh, threat displays from her. I've handled her completely sober. I have handled her completely drunk and she has been fine every single time. It takes I'd say no longer. Occasionally it takes about a half hour to go to her out of her enclosure out of her web and habitat but uh, most of the time since I've handled her, she seemed to have come out on her own accord. And uh, I can pick her right up. I can leave my hand in and just scoop her like that. And she doesn't seem to mind at all. But now that she has created a nice funnel web, which I will actually show you real quick. Uh, um, she has created a web of her own. You can't see it too well. But if you look here, she has a web that goes right here all the way up her cork bark and all the way down her cork bark that she completely loves and likes to stay in. In just one day of actually sitting inside of her... She's not aggressive at all. In fact, she is very, very docile. And people, this is me, but um, personally... I am not big in handling the spiders. That is more his job, thus him being my roommate. I am more for feeding, and I will pet them and everything, but I will not handle them because I have a severe fear of them, yet I still own them. But he has the more dangerous of the spiders, like the Pokes, Glepharia, Peterson Eye, and the OBTs and everything. He's actually got to two Pokies in the same cage now that are actually co-communing, I guess, together, and they are doing very well. 
They've both eaten very well and everything, so they're doing very well together. Hopefully we can breed them at one point. The sad thing is, I'm not afraid of any of them except for Fang, which is a P. Ligardi. And that's only because he is so quick and has snagged me before when he thought he was in danger of falling. I don't think he bit no, me. No, that was my guy. No, it was uh, your guy, the Evic Metallica, snagged me as well. But I didn't even notice him, him snagging me until like 30 hours later when I noticed the two Fang marks. That's true. When and Fang got you, though, you had the shits for a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fang got me, and I had the I had the uh, diarrhea for like freaking 24 hours and stomach. Felt cracks. Little, felt a little crappy, but yeah. really overall was not but a big deal. See, that was the fact that he started running up my arm, and when he ran up my arm, I freaked out because I wasn't expecting it. So. Admittedly, I screamed like a little girl and flung my hand outwards. And when I flung my hand outward, he slung across my arm, gripped me right here between these two knuckles, and latched on. And uh, in effect, I don't think he uh, he uh, administered much venom, but he did hook on. Ended up swinging outward like this and then falling onto the bed, which was maybe three or four inches below him. So he was completely fine. I uh, I was sick for about maybe 20 hours or so, if not less. In fact, I'm really, really not afraid, especially when I'm drunk. And admittedly, I am uh, I am a bit toasty right now, but. Uh, I handle these spiders at least an hour every other day. Uh, Terra personally does loves to handle Terra. The OBC that you see uh, right now, he loves to handle her. He literally spent an hour and a half last night trying to get her out, but she was trying to uh, sleep I, or something along those lines. And uh, when he tried to get her out, it did not work that well. But this morning, he actually managed to get her out. But this time, when he tried to pull her out, she literally came out within probably about a minute, 30 seconds of him trying to get her out, which means that it's she bad. is she is getting better about it, which means most likely that almost any OBT that you own, as long as you handle them more often and pet them and play with them a little more, they will be more provoked to come out and play and be more friendly about it as you do so. So I very much promote the fact of petting and playing with them as long as they're not going to try and eat you in the first place. If I can. you can put tongs in front of them and they're going to try and bite the tongs, I kind of decide against it, but either way, I'd say you that hand? if you don't want to hand, you should you play with them hand. and try and handle them at least once. Okay. So that you know whether they're going to be able to play with, because it is possible, and they're not the most vicious little tarantulas that everybody says they are. They are handleable, and they are pretty cool. It's just personally, I have a thing against the fangs on the bottom. I can play with anything else. It's just, I, I don't know, it just bothers me slightly. I'm very fearful of spiders altogether. It's just tarantulas are a lot different to me. I can handle my Amelia crap. Did and my Versicolor. So. They will poop. They will poop when they're a little bit annoyed. At which point, I think I should uh, put her away. Personally, I have a theory that their poop is not just that they're annoyed or scared. It's actually excited. along the lines of excited. Which Skeeter I brought up to it. him the first time when... S Skeeter, Skeeter, our little Avic, Avic had, uh... No, he's a Vic, uh... Avic Metallica. Perkea. Perkea, okay. Had done. I had brought up the fact that maybe it was just when they were excited. And as we have progressed with our spider collection, we have s grown to see that a lot of them, it does seem to be, when you play with them and they get a little, little more excited, that they actually will poop like that. Look at this. So... Uh, that is actually... For the Hold first on, put time, your hand up. For the first time, I so have seen see a uh, Pumarinus poop. Shoot yeah. poop. Just